I think you all know already that my favourite weapon of all is the sword. Uh, but of course there are many different kinds of swords and I did say already in a video a while ago that uh, my favourite kind of sword is the European sword, although I really like Japanese swords as well, so keep that in mind. There's a very slight difference there as far as my personal preference is concerned, but I do prefer the Okashot, and particularly the Type 12, but most types of Okashot are swords that I really, really like. So that is the, the kind of sword I prefer, but you know that there are lots of different kinds of swords and of course lots of different situations and applications and many different ways to operate such weapons. Now in this video we're going to focus on one main question, a question that I will ask myself first and then of course a question which will reflect, reflect back to you and I will hope that you will let me know your personal choice in the comments down below. Would I rather use a sword to hand it or even a two-handed sword, which are two different concepts of course, and we will get more details on that. Or would I rather fight with a sword and a shield? Hello number ones, so welcome back to my channel, this is the Metatron speaking. So, here is an interesting topic for us to discuss. Um, first off, of course, a, uh, there are many different kinds of swords as I said, but I'd like to uh, answer just right off the bat this question and then uh, rather spend more time into the why and, and into the, the reasons why I actually chose this. But personally, in most scenarios, and of course scenario, the scenario will play a dramatically important role in the choice of, of, of weapon, um, in, in combat, but in most scenarios I would rather go for sword and shield than for a two-handed sword or a two-handed usage of a sword. It is important to say, however, that it really depends on the situation. And the reason why I say this now is because I would say that in the vast majority of scenarios and in the vast majority of cases, I would rather go for sword and shield than for a two-handed sword. But there are some situations in which I might actually feel uh, better using a two-handed sword. Now, of course, when we go into a battlefield situation, then I would say that there is no, unless I am incredibly and supremely armored and hence the reason why um, the scenario and the details play an, a very important role in such choice, but unless I have the, uh, like an incredible suit of armor, uh, then I would definitely go for sword and shield because of all the missile weapons and this is something that we have already talked a lot extensively on this channel. Um, but apart from the actual battlefield situation. Um, even in a duel, um, most of the times that I spar with my friends, I notice that I feel safer using a shield and a sword, sort of renouncing on, on the sort of leverage that you can get when you use a weapon two-handed um, in order to gain more the, the actual line of defense. Now the reason why I like shields is not only because of the extra defense that they provide, but also because they have offens offensive capability capabilities. Um, and we know that it, it depends on the shield, if we're talking about heated shields, or we're called, talking about Viking shields, and depends on how it, uh, how you hold it, there are Roman shields, there are lots of different kinds of shields, but the whole idea of being able to use the shield as an offensive weapon is also something important, and not only though to attack. Of course you can use the shield to push, to punch your opponent, depending again on the shield and the grip. But the shield also has one thing that every time I spar with my friends I notice that it's it's a good uh, advantage Not that if you know how to use, if you know how to exploit, it will make it worth to renounce to the leverage of, two -handed, of a two-handed weapon. And that is the fact that you can hide your, uh, your weapon, okay? So this is something that the Romans did. I mean, there were several ways to hold the gladius, but one, or the, one of the most common ones was to hold it retracted behind the shield so that you don't actually, it's, it's actually harder to understand where you're going to attack and what you're going to do. If you're going to strike for the legs, if you're going to strike for the head, if you're going to strike for the torso, the hands of the opponent, etc. It's harder to read what you want to do and that is because you've got this barrier in front of you. And I think it's not just something that works with the scutum, of course the scutum is huge so that's definitely that, but I think it can work also for the viking shield, it can work with um, heather shield, it can work with a lot of different kinds of shield, kite shield of course which is already quite big although of course kite shield I think it's more of a cavalry 
um, sort of shield uh, rather than an infantry kind of shield and, and, and again whether I am mount, a mounted soldier or whether I am a foot soldier will also um, have an important influence in the sort of equipment that I will choose but again if it's a dual I tend to prefer using sword and shield. When you have a sword and a shield, so in the very moment that you have chosen this, you also have to choose your stance. There are many different ways to put, uh, to hold your weapon, but it's not just a matter of where your weapon is, but with a with the right hand in my case, because I'm right-handed, but it's also a matter of which line of my body am I putting forward. Is it the shield line or is it the weapon? Because these ways, these stances have pros and cons. Um, if you have your shield in front, then it means you have you you are more covered because the part that you expose towards your opponent, um, the part that is closer to your opponent is defended by the shield. So it will be easier to protect yourself. You're more protected, but you have less range. On the other hand, if you have the weapon in front uh, or the side of the weapon in front, then you have more range of attack but you are less protected. It's gonna be a little bit harder to use your shield to protect yourself. Now, I myself tend to prefer the uh, shield in front. Uh, also because at the end of the day, I believe that you have to have either one or the other side in front. I don't really think, and I don't even think it was used, but please correct me if I'm wrong, in any martial arts to just stand uh, with you know both shoulders in the same area, you know, just front, front, in front of your opponent you don't do it in boxing you don't do it in in any style of combat as far as i know and, and because also you lose stability and your feet need to be firm to the ground because if you fall on the ground then you're going to be in in trouble of course in any situation of combat so i myself prefer to have again my defense in front and and I tend to do this, and I tend to have the left side in front also when I uh, use my a two-handed sword. Um, and this is one of the things that some Italian knights did as well. One of the reasons why um, you know asymmetric asymmetrical pauldrons existed. You know, the left pauldron being bigger because it was your line of defense, because most knights would fight with the left in front, and uh, the right pauldron mean being smaller because it allowed you to be more nimble with your movement and that you could use your sword um, better. But it's interesting though because formally speaking I have received training in two-handed usage of, of sword because the only formal training I have received as far as weapon-based martial arts are concerned is with Kendo and just a little bit of Kenjutsu. Um, whereas, as far as sword and shield is concerned, well, all the I have never had actual formal training. The, or the, the only kind of training I have with that are two kinds of training. The first one is just a sort of sparring that I get with my friends, some of which are pretty good at sparring, I, I'll, 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 have, I'll have to say, and some have experience in HEMA. So I do have interaction with HEMA practitioners, but I've never gone to a club because unfortunately we don't have clubs. Here, and the people who have experience with HEMA are people who moved from other cities to my city. Um, secondly, the second kind of training I do as far as sword and shield combat is concerned is looking at the sources of Roman combat and then trying to understand how it works and, and do my own uh, way. So I do train so somehow in the way of a Roman soldier uh, whenever I can as far as I do marching sometimes I do it, we in fact we are organizing a little series of me going out with a tent staying spending the night in a forest wearing Roman armor we're gonna do this uh, I'm gonna do some morning patrol I'm gonna do the things that a Roman soldier would have done I'll go there with my whole troop we'll bring a, a, a kit for first aid just in case we're going to bring food of course we're going to bring everything we need uh, but we, we are going to do that um, if we can we'll see how how many days we can extend this experience for um, we'll see what we can do but that that's one of the things that will be coming up probably as it gets warmer so in theory i should feel better at um, using a sword two-handed and sometimes it is the case but regardless of this I do prefer um, using the shield because every time I spar, I notice that when I use a, a weapon two-handed, it's just my own personal experience of course, but when I use a weapon two-handed, um, it's either I do, it's either I, I manage to hit the opponent or we both hit each other or he hits me okay whereas when I use a shield and a weapon most of the times what seems to happen is that 
I hit him or he, he, he hits me, but it doesn't happen very often that we both hit each other, at least in my own experience. I'm not sure about your own experience, but it seems like that that shield is covering those lines that when I fight or when I spar with a two-handed weapon, I sometimes don't close properly, particularly when I commit to an attack. So within my own way of fighting, I notice that I tend to be safer when I use a shield. Now, when I mentioned two-handed usage of sword and two-handed sword, yes, they are two separate things. And this is something that um, I have already talked about in a dedicated video a while ago, but I'd just like to remind you that, yes, there were weapons like the, the long sword and the great sword, which were developed with a longer hilt because they are intended to be used two-handed. And there are weapons such as even the Okasho Type 12 that I own that are, have a shorter hilt and therefore they are developed developed with one-handed usage in mind, but that doesn't mean that it's not possible to sort of switch stances. In fact, in this uh, case, uh, the game Dark Souls actually pictures this because you push the triangle button and whatever weapon you have, you can change it into one-handed and two-handed usage, and that is correct. Whereas in many video games and in many role-playing games, if a, if a, if a weapon is one-handed, it's one-handed, and if a weapon is two-handed, it's two-handed, and you can never switch the grips. Yes, you can, and it was done in the manuals, and I have tried this a few times. Of course, there are advantages and disadvantages. I mean, if you have a weapon with a longer grip, which is also longer as far as the length of the blade is concerned, if you use it one-handed it will be um, it will feel uh, a little bit more clumsy uh, clumsier if you will but you can still use it with a shield I mean no one is, is gonna tell you that you can't you can do it and the reasons why you might want to do it might be an increase of reach perhaps or maybe simply because that's the only sword that you had at the moment but you also want to carry a shield because there is you know there is someone there uh, at, the, at the balcony with a crossbow waiting for you to come out and you want to protect yourself with your shield whatever the reasons there might be several reasons that uh, might um, and then perhaps you can ditch the shield and use it two-handed I mean at the end of the day you, you can do this. This uh, the era of switching was contemplated and it's historical. And on the other hand, of course, it as for example my friend Shad at Shad Aversity channel has pointed out, and this is something that I didn't mention on the dedicated video, so I think it's important to bring it up now, is that a one-handed weapon can be used two-handed, but of course you lose leverage because your hands are too close. True, but still, you can still do it. Is any was done historically? Um, so if you are using, a, for example, a sword and a shield, and you lose your shield, uh, for instance, you can still grab it two-handed and use some of the techniques that you have trained in two-handed usage of, uh, or, or, you know, of, of weapons of swords, perhaps in Hema or whatever. Um, again, you're not going to be as effective as you would be if you were using a sword that was actually designed for two-handed usage. I totally agree with that, absolutely. But it it doesn't mean that you can't do it and it doesn't mean that there won't be uh, also possible advantages to the idea of using a one-handed sword two-handed. For example, another advantage of using a long sword one-handed could be the idea of grappling with the other hand. Okay, so let's say that you're using a, a, a long sword two-handed and then at one point you see an opportunity to grapple with your opponent and you want to exploit that and you can definitely just do that and use the sword, uh, you know, one-handed. That's absolutely fine and it was again contemplated in HEMA treatises. So we shouldn't really um, take this idea of the sword is one-handed, the sword is two-handed only. This doesn't apply. There are only limited weapons that have this idea of um, this weapon is almost impossible to use one-handed because of this, this and that. There are very few weapons like this and most weapons I would say that you can switch between one-handed grip and two-handed grip depending on the situation, depending on your choice. All right, number ones. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. It goes without saying, I'd like to know what you think in the comments below. Would you rather go for sword and shield or would you rather go for two-handed usage? Of course, if you do need to, please give me scenarios in which you would rather use two-handed sword and scenarios in which you would use a one-handed grip with a shield. Uh, thank you for your time as always. I will see you tomorrow for my next daily upload. And remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye. <laughs>